Okay, hopefully everyone took a few minutes to design their own postcard. It can be as simple or as complex as you'd like it to be. I just threw together kind of a monochromatic background image and I have one text frame that has text in it and I made sure that my text included all of the variable data fields that my Excel spreadsheet does. So if we jump back over to Excel and I open that spreadsheet again, is it this one? You can see that I have an employee name, a position title, phone number, and email address. Before we move forward, if you decide to increase the number of columns or the number of variable data fields, uh, you need to make sure that you save this file, but you also save as, and save a copy as a comma-separated value file. Make sure that you know that where you're saving it. But pay careful attention, there are multiple .csv options. There's this CSV UTF uh, option here. Don't, don't choose this one, scroll down further. Choose the one that just says comma separated values. You'll have better luck with the plain .csv file when you're going to load your data source. I'm not adding additional fields, so I'm just gonna close out of that document and jump back to InDesign. There are a number of ways to automate the variable data content for a variable data print. For example, we are going to use the data merge panel in InDesign, but we also have a printer on campus that you can automate variable data if you set up your fields properly on the print on the fly, and you can do it inside their software program. To automate variable data in, inside InDesign, we need to launch the data merge panel, and you can do that by going to the window menu. Scroll all the way to the bottom and choose Utilities, and then choose Data Merge. The Data Merge panel basically will walk you through the steps to create an automation. You can either follow the steps that are outlined or you can follow along with me. The first thing we need to do is select a data source which contains all of the variable data content which is our .csv comma separated value file. So select data source and then find your spreadsheet and select open. If you do not automatically see all of the text fields from the columns in your spreadsheet or if you get a prompt that says you're having an issue with the data source, go back and check your .csv file. Make sure that all of the columns are used and that you haven't skipped any columns or rows, that you haven't left any fields blank, and that you have saved it as a plain .csv file, not the UTF version. Now that you have it, the actual linking of your variable content to your design is super easy. You're going to highlight, before I do this I'm going to turn on the special characters so that you can see where there is a return or a space bar or something like that. If you want Andrea Hollingsworth or the first and last name to automate and you want a space at the end, notice how when I put a space there there's a hidden character. When I select the content I need to make sure that I'm only selecting all the way through the letter H. If I select the space as well, it will automate or erase that in the variable data. If I were to accidentally bring my cursor down to the next row as I am selecting my content, when I go to create the variable data content, it might merge the first and the second row onto one line. So turn your hidden characters on so you can see what you're selecting. To automate, I'm going to highlight the variable content, so Andrea Hollingsworth is my example for my first and last name, and then simply click employee name. I'm going to put my hidden character back in, make sure that you don't leave it plain, and then again highlight, select email address. In this case, it did not erase, but I do want to make sure that I don't have any unwanted hidden characters. Let's undo that. And then highlight phone number and her title, position or title. If this happens where it erases your hidden characters, put them back in before you automate your variable data. Once you've linked all of your variable data content, you can create what's called a merge document via the option flyout menu on your data merge panel. So you'll hit the option flyout menu, select create merge document. You can make a lot of decisions and at the first level or the first pass of this, you really don't have to do anything for now, just select OK. But the better you get at it, the more things that you are creating with it, you can, you can, you can adjust the options. So instead of creating one business card per page, you could create a page of business cards.
but for now just hit OK. And it will take a minute depending on how many fields are being automated and how many uh, people are on your list, but you should get an error or a prompt that says there are no errors or there are errors. One of the most common errors that you might receive, I'm going to close my data merge panel there, one of the most common errors that you may see uh, receive is an error that says you have overset text because the field or the placement that you have the variable content is not big enough for your text. However, if you always um, create your design using the largest name or the largest address or the largest title, it should help prevent that. Now that we've automated our variable data content, if I put this into full screen mode, I can cycle through the designs and see that the first person is Amanda Ansel, her email address, her phone number, and she's an art director. And then we have Maria Jones, and she's the chief operating officer, and it goes through every single person on our list in our spreadsheet. And what's great about this is now I can just hit print and I can print all the different postcards or greeting cards or in our case business cards that I created. But also I can keep that Excel spreadsheet and if I have new people I can add them to the list. So if I am hired as a company and I add myself and I am maybe a graphic designer and my phone number will say is 801-555-5555 and my email address is my name at office.com. If I save this and I save over my CSV file, I can go back to my original document. So right now I'm in my merge document. So I'm going to close it and I'm not going to save it. If I go back to my original document, I can relaunch the data merge panel. And I don't have to, but just because it's only a few fields, I'm going to remove my data source. And I'm going to select a new data source, which is the updated file. And then I can relink these fields. It automatically knew when I relinked it. So now if I generate my merge document and we take a look at the people on the list when I get to the end I should expect to see I've been added to the list of business cards. I would like you to give that a try on your own you don't have to update that Excel spreadsheet but if you'd like to practice I think it would be a good idea at this stage in the game to add columns to the document or to add additional people to the end, maybe add yourself to the list. For your, pro uh, for your project for this module, you're going to have to create your spreadsheet yourself and an entire design yourself. And so if you practice now, that project should be easier.